speeds up from this time last week. Rather breezy across the far north and west of Scotland where we are seeing more cloud and also some spits and spots of rain never really amounting to very much away from the northern isles. Elsewhere we're chasing cloud amounts. What that means is where you see the cloud it could stick right the way through the day but there'll be favoured spots for sunshine particularly down towards the west country, southern parts of Wales, perhaps even the southeast. Over the higher ground, the fog is going to persist through the morning. That's hill fog, only slowly lifting. So the picture this morning, very similar to this afternoon, not a lot of change. The worst of the weather is likely to be across the west and the north of uh, Scotland, perhaps moving down towards the northwest of England. Elsewhere, some sunshine to be had, but certainly a theme of the weather, not only today, but over the next few days, is going to be cloud, but temperatures on the mild side. Back to you, too. Thanks Thank you. very much indeed. Uh, Claire, let's take a look at the morning papers. The banks are dominating the front page of many of them, all yet again. To buy Nestle cereals. Proudly waving the banner for Holgrim. OK, so the good news this week, at least I'd say for some of us this week, we're going to see some dry and mild weather. Mild for much of the country, but we're certainly we are seeing more in the way of cloud and rain across Scotland this morning. And it is going to turn unsettled later on the week, so if you've got some any outdoor activities to plan, plan them early on rather than later. Although Friday's not looking too bad at all, although it is going to turn colder by night by Friday, we could see some frosts. Let's have a look and see what's happening this morning there. Well, this morning we're expecting more in the way of cloud across many parts of the country. It means cloudy skies like this above, across many areas. The clouds breaking in parts, particularly across more southern and western areas of the country, as you can see on the satellite picture. And this is where favoured spots where sunshine will be this morning. At least the wind is light and there's no problems with frost this morning. And certainly for the bulk of the country, there's a lot of cloud. But this cloud, uh, I think, only producing some rain across Scotland. The rain could be heavy in places across Scotland, moving from uh, the west towards the east. Patchy in nature, that means some places will get away with some dry drier weather and this could actually extend down towards the southwest of Scotland through the day. For Northern Ireland it's a mostly dry start to the day. We could even see some sunshine here. There's a lot of low misty cloud sort of hanging around across England and Wales and that could cause some problems with poor visibility if you're travelling through the next few hours, particularly over the high routes of the West Country, parts of Wales as well as the Pennines. Elsewhere then the cloud breaking up through the afternoon. You could see a little bit of sunshine across eastern Scotland but generally speaking there is a lot of low misty cloud particularly across the west there and we are seeing outbreaks of rain. The patchy rain does extend down towards border regions so places such as the north of Cumbria as well as Northumberland could see some damp weather and perhaps just the far northeast of Northern Ireland but generally speaking Northern Ireland will have a dry and cloudy afternoon. Across England and Wales generally, we'll see the cloud break up again. It's chasing cloud amounts right the way through the day, so expect to see the cloud come and go. But if you see some sunshine, not feeling too bad, and that's because the temperatures, well, they're not. They're pretty good for this time of year. Generally speaking, I'd say in double figures, uh, perhaps 9 or 10 across Scotland, but certainly up to 12, 54 Fahrenheit further south, and quite breezy across the far 